This is the most important and crucial period of your lives, for what you do now and what you decide now at this age may well determine which way your life shall go. And the question is whether you have a proper, a solid, and a sound blueprint. Brothers and sisters, think of what you were when you were called. Not many of you will rise by human standards. Not many were influential. Not many were noble of birth. But God chose the foolish things yes. of the world to, sh the, the world to shame the wise. God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. Yes. God chose the lowly things of this world and the despised things and the things that are not to nullify the things that are, so that no one man may boast before him. It is because of him that you're in Christ Jesus, yes. who has became for us wisdom for God. That is our righteousness, holiness, and redemption. Therefore, as it is written, let the one who boasts, boast in the Lord. Yes. Now think of the goodness of the Lord. Uh, yes. What he's done for me.
going to be easy. As soon as you step out that door, it's coming. Because you stood up. But because you stood up in here, I'm going to pray real quick. I believe that God had you here for a reason at the time you were here. He already knows what's going on in your heart. He sees past the clothes. He sees past the makeup. And those that wish somebody else was here to hear it with you, you got it. That's right. You got it. That's right. You got it. Jesus. Bow your head, please. Father God, Father God, I thank you, Jesus. I thank you for choosing us. I thank you for the time of now. I thank you for the season that we're in, Father God. Yes. For whatever reason it may be, Father God, you know where I'm at. Why? Because you put us here, Father God. Yes. You have saved us from ourselves, Father God. Yes. You have saved us through the temptations that we face just coming here today. Yes. You kept us, God. Yes. We thank you for the ones that no longer are here with us on earth, Father. We thank you for what they taught us. Yes. We thank you for them seeing in us what they're not here to even see. Right. Yes. But you've seen it, God. I'm asking if anybody here, Father God, that needs prayer, have them yes. come forward right now. Yes, Lord. Yes. In the name of Jesus, you said yes. we can touch some people and heal them, Father yes. God. Yes. You yes. said we can deliver yes. through you, Father God. Yes. Yes. It's not us, Father God. It's the Spirit. Yes. These hands are just fleshly hands, Father, but the yes. Spirit, Father God, yes. is a healer. Yes. The Spirit, Father God, is a deliverer. Yes, yes. yes I trust, Father God, and I believe. Yes, yes. I don't have to see the miracles perform. Yes. If it's your will, it's going to happen, Father God. Yes. I just want to be used however you choose to use me. Yes. Yes. Just use me, God. Because yes. your love runs deep. Yes. There's no type of love that I've ever imagined or will ever imagine. But I feel it. I feel your presence here today, Father God. Please have your way, Father God. Have your way, Father God. And let us all collectively keep letting our light shine. Keep reaching to each other and checking on each other, Father God. Allow everybody here to make a phone call that they wouldn't have made after they leave here today. Just to say what? Just to say I love you. Because your presence and your purpose has showed us nothing but love, God. Your old time, God. I love you, God. Call your people. Help us. In Jesus' name. Amen.